Y'all, look at my hair. I know, I'm trying to get this light over. Um, it is Friday, June 24th, y'all. Here we go, here we go. June 24th, my hair is looking crazy. Look, I am so over this week. I am seriously over. Yesterday, I live up in Northern Phoenix. Going, if you're familiar familiar with Phoenix, you're probably not, but I live on the outside of Phoenix, going outside of Phoenix. So when I want to get certain type of food, I have to drive literally 30, 35 minutes up. So I was cooking Ethiopian food yesterday and I needed to buy the injera to go with it. About 35 minutes up, no problem. I go all the way up. My friend had contacted me and was basically like, you want to go swimming? And for me, that's basically like, do your ass want to go floating? Because I don't swim. She knows that. I don't swim. I just float. So on the way back, I call her back. While I'm on the phone with her, my car starts rattling. And I have a Chevy Equinox, an SUV. My car starts rattling. It's only a 2010. I'm like, what the hell? It felt, felt like... Um, I had a flat tire and I'm freaking out because I'm on the 17, which is a major freeway here. I'm like, let me pull over. She's like, okay, yeah, pull over and call me back. Pull over. I check my tires. I'm like, there's not nothing wrong with my tires. Okay, cool. Get back on the freeway. I'm driving and I drive fast. Not fast, average. 70 to 80. That's average, right? So. I purposely stay in the slow lane, right? All the way to the right, just in case I gotta get over. My car goes from 70 to 45 like that, 45, and I am pressing the gas down. There's not even, there's probably a foot between me and the freaking right lane, and I'm like, I have to get out of this. I So I call my ex, cause this is his car. Hold on y'all, sorry, I thought it was my baby getting up. Let me make this hairy because he does get up soon. So I call my ex because I'm freaking out. And I'm like, what do I do? You know, I'm on the overpass. If I don't get from here, someone's going to hit me. It, it's just it's just going to happen. Yeah, I, I'm sorry, but I prayed. I called on the name of Jesus and I said, God, please get me out of here. Because the car wasn't going. I mean, it was literally, I could hear the engine and it wasn't doing anything. Finally... It was able to get back up to 45 miles. Mind you, people are going 70, 60 and 70. So I have my emergency lights on. I was finally able to pull over. Anyway, we get it to the auto place and they're saying that they think it's just a belt. And I'm like, okay, great, it's just a belt. So that won't cost too much money to get it fixed. All of that to say, this is why my hair looks the way it does. Um, and I'll get into the bathroom here. Um, it was humid. me the pancake is falling apart I'm just I try it's not working it's not working it's not working baby Honey, baby <laughs> so look you guys I moisturized my hair and put it in this lopsided high bun honey cuz I didn't want to scare the white folks so y'all <laughs> my mood has shifted cuz I want to get my car I cannot uh, let me tell you what happened don't you hate it when you call someone and they're like, well, I got some good news and some bad news. Just give me the bad news. I don't care about the good news at this point. So the good news was there was no charge. The bad news is they couldn't figure out what was wrong. And that's a big, that's really big for a car to basically stop running and they run all the diagnosis codes. 
they do everything they check all the the um belts and they can't figure out what's wrong with the car so that leads me to believe that it's a manufacturer issue and i absolutely hate chevy dealerships i do i i detest them i cannot afford another car right now he's like the car it only has a hundred only quote unquote it's a hundred thousand miles it's best to get rid of it now get home calm down got online and did a search for this issue y'all we're talking about baby you're gonna hurt yourself we're talking about tons of complaints the same issue unfortunately i found that most people had to end up getting rid of their cars so with that being said I haven't had a car note in like a year, probably a year and a half. I went through my budget, got rid of everything that I don't need. Nails, can no longer get my nails done. That's a, that's a want, not a need, fully. So I have to get rid of this car within three weeks. There is no way I can be out. Granted, I don't go over 40 you know, in the neighborhood, but we never know if I may need, need to go somewhere. There is no way in hell I can be out in triple degree weather with a toddler in the back. Cause I literally, even though I had air, I had to wait for an hour. Um, uh, let me tell y'all another reason why I'm upset is because I wanted to get to a place once I had my credit cards paid off, which would have been at the end of next year. I wanted to get to a place financially where I was going to get my titties done. Look, I'm not playing. I breastfed my baby for two years. Um, I already have, I have 36 triple no, 36 E's, double E's, 36 double E's. I'm only 5'3 on a good day. Oh, I was already, for the past two weeks, I've been looking at, looking at, um, I even called my insurance to see what they could do about it. Um, yeah, they're not even covering breast, breast reductions anymore. Not as much. You have to have like a history of pain. So yeah, I mean, I don't know what to say. I just don't know. I just. I for sure thought I would have this car for the next three years. Oh, uh, at least at least wait till I'm not paying preschool fees. Damn. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Take care.